What is up my Libras? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome my current subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome newbies. Hey you guys, how are y'all? Hopefully okay. Um, if you are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, um, if you could hit full subscribe to Libra, we super, super appreciate it. I'm just saying because it helps me and it helps you. Um, it helps me because it increases my subscriber count, which is always super awesome, fantastic, for real, for real. And it helps you because you get notified when I post all the videos and when I go live. I haven't officially went live yet. I've done a couple test runs, but I do plan on going very, very short, uh, very, very soon, not shortly. Um, just letting you know. I don't usually do six, but six popped out. So six popped out in Aquarius is two, and I had quite a reading for that one about a prostitution ring and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I feel the need to keep it. Um, so I'm going to, okay. Um, okay. Well, like I said, um, and there was a Libra that was involved in that reading too, ironically. Um, this could resonate in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Just throwing that out there. I just, just shuffled out. Um, real quick before we really get into it, um, two for 20, I offer that. All the information for what I offer is in the description box below. If you're interested in um, offer two for twenties and I offer personal readings, you can check that out in the description box below. Uh, also, um, uh, any um, any uh, donations are greatly appreciated. I never judge on the amount. Some of the readers on there are very tyrannical and only accept a minimum amount, and it's very uh, rude and tyrannical and unappreciative. I don't like that. I. I do never judge on the amount you want to um, donate. If you want to donate $5 or $500, however you want to do it, I do not judge. Um, but you have to do it through my PayPal link, which is High Priestess Tarot 5. The complete link is in the description box below. Um, the only thing I request with that is if you donate, when you donate, put on in the um, description box donation. That way everybody's on the same page. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, let's do the damn thing and get started. Like I said, this could resonate in your Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, Jupiter charts. If I hear or see anything, I will let you know. Like I said, um, a Libra was resonating in the Aquarius read pretty heavy, um, and that was quite a freaking reading. And I got six cards out with that one too, so if you're interested in that, you can go back and check that read out. All right, here we go. First card out. Moon. Upright. Secrets. Y'all, oh, man, we getting started, you guys. Next is King of Pentacles upright, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, in your energy field. So um, this is a very stable, reliable, uh, dependable, um, compassionate, usually spiritual person. But it looks like you're holding secrets from this Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra. Um, and then Nine of Cups upright, so you're being very selfish towards this Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Apparently, you are. You're holding secrets from them. Um, next is Hermit Reverse, but you're not taking care of yourself or taking care of someone else. You're not going within, self-reflecting. Yeah, and you're being selfish. So that makes sense. Next is um, uh, Knight of Wands Reverse. So you're also dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius in your energy field that you're pulling in. This can be masculine or feminine in the Tarot for you. Um, and they're showing up as a Knight energy for you, Libra, in your energy field. Not necessarily for other folks' energy fields, but for your energy field. So they're very flighty, player in and out, sporadic energy in your energy field. Maybe not be for other folks, but for you. And it's the Aries Leo Sagittarius masculine or feminine energy. And then next is the Lover's Reverse. Okay. So, so far what I've got is it looks like you're holding secrets from a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, upright. Um, masculine energy. And like I said, they're upright. They're very stable, dependable, lo loyal, reliable. Um, and you're being selfish towards them. And you're not going within self-reflecting. And you're also pulling in Aries Leo Sagittarius. And then Lovers Reversed. And that's that sixth card I got. Alright. I'm going to do Gypsy. Alright, Spirit. What secrets are um, Libra... And I sage my energy field before starting this reading, you guys. What secrets are Libra um, holding from a Taurus Capricorn Virgo? Spirit. 
Ooh, five. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Messenger upright. Thought upright. Soldier upright. Sweetheart upright. Misfortune upright. Okay. I just, oh my God, you guys, I just heard for whoever this resonates with, I just heard the baby's not yours. The things you hear sometimes over here in this chair. The baby's not yours. For whoever this resonates with, the baby's not yours. Um, I don't know. Maybe just whoever that resonates with. I, maybe that, and I was dealing with the secrets card. So maybe that's a secret that for, for you, Libra, or maybe that's a secret that you're holding from somebody else. I just heard the baby's not yours. So however that resonates, and that's on the secret card when I was doing the clarifying cards. So maybe there's a baby, maybe uh, there's a Libra out there pregnant that the baby's not the father's, or there's a Libra that has a partner that's pregnant and the baby is not yours. So however that resonates. Okay. And then clarifying your Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo upright. Spirit, can I get a clarifying card for the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo upright, please? Jolfin is upright. And then selfish. And then not going within. Can I get a clarifier for the Aries Leo Sagittarius, please? Hope reversed and letter upright. Okay, and then can I get a spirit? Can I get a clarify? Ooh. Can I get a clarifier for the lovers reverse, please? Death reverse and pleasure seekers reverse. I feel the need to get at least one more because I'm trying to figure out if your lover is the Aries Leo Sag or somebody else. Spirit, can I get a clarifier for um, Libra's lover to reverse, please? A nervous energy in here. Widow or reverse and do, um, doctor reverse. Okay, okay. so the, like I said, this could resonate in your Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter, Midhaven charts. So you're holding secrets, Libra. It looks like you are um, from a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and clarifying this is messenger upright. And thought upright so you're going to put lots of thought um, into a message it looks like with this Taurus Capricorn Virgo um, and then soldier upright so maybe you're gonna fight for this Taurus Capricorn Virgo um, and then sweetheart upright and misfortune upright so it looks like you want to fight for this Taurus Capricorn Virgo um, but and you put lots of thought into writing this person um i just heard making amends making amends so you want to make amends with them but it looks like it's not going to go into your favor because we got misfortune upright and i also heard when i was doing the clarifying cards for the secrets is the baby's not yours so if there is a leaper out there that's pregnant maybe the the secret is the baby's not the taurus capricorn virgos 
because you're obviously putting a lot of thought and effort into fighting for this relationship, but there's been serious, serious, serious relationship problems. Serious. I just heard serious. Okay, so serious relationship problems. Um, and it would make sense if you got pregnant by somebody else and the baby's not the father. I mean, the person you're with. And I think the person you're with is the Taurus Capricorn Virgo that you're fight, trying to fight for. Um, because I think maybe the Taurus Capricorn Virgo, I think the Taurus Capricorn, if the baby's not theirs, maybe they don't know the baby's not theirs. So maybe you're trying to figure out how to tell them. Because clear, because we got, yeah, because we got misfortune at the end upright. So I think the baby's not theirs and you're trying to figure out how to tell them. And you want to fight for the relationship, but you've got to be honest. Because I'm sure the father probably knows. Okay. So clarifying the Taurus Capricorn Virgo upright is joyfulness upright. So they're happy, it looks like. Because um, apparently whoever this resonates with, Libras this resonates with, I think you're pregnant. Um, they're happy, apparently, about this um, this uh, child. And they're happy. But they don't know it's not theirs. And it also makes sense because you, you for you, Libra, you've got selfishness, selfishness upright. And you're not doing self-care. You're not going within. You're not self-reflecting. Um, you're not doing the work. You're not making, you know, you're not, you want to make the wrongs right. But you're not actively doing it. So, I mean, you can want to make wrongs right all day long, but if you don't put any action into it, it ain't going to get nowhere. Just say, I mean, come on, that's logical thought and reasoning 101, and that's just the truth, okay? Um, and also, you're dealing, pulling in an Aries Leo Sagittarius that's going to be masculine or feminine in your energy field for whoever this resonates with. And clarifying them is hope reverse, so you feel hopeless about an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I just heard very intuitive. So this Aries Leo Sagittarius is very intuitive. Maybe they know the bullshit that you're up to. That wouldn't make sense. I mean, I mean, it really would. I hate to say it, but it's true. And then letter upright. So you're thinking about sending a message to this Aries Leo Sagittarius. But you feel hopeless with them. Maybe that's one. And it could be a text, an email, snail mail, um, you know, a chat, whatever. Facebook message, whatever. Um, and then the sixth card I got out that I don't normally get out is the lover's reverse. And clarifying the lover's reverse is death reverse. So something hasn't ended with a lover that you're having serious problems with. Pleasure seekers reverse. Widow will reverse. So somebody that's married, it looks like. You're, you're dealing with a married person on the side. But um, they're not seeking medical attention or they don't need a doctor. Um, so you're dealing with a married person, I think, on the side. Um, maybe it's an Aries Leo Sagittarius that's married. Um, yeah, actually, I think that's exactly what it is. I think you're dealing, you're, um, maybe it's your lover, your baby daddy is the um, Aries Leo Sag. Oh, that's exactly what it looks looks like. It's your baby daddy is the Aries Leo Sag. Because um, there's no end to this. But you want to, uh, but the Taurus Capricorn Virgo thinks that the baby's theirs. But it's not. It's his Aries Leo Sagittarius's. Woo-wee. Holy moly, Libra. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's quite a reading. Yes, it is. Okay, well, um, let me get some overall clarifying energy and we will close it. I hope this helped you guys. I really, really do. Spirit, can I get some overall clarifying energy, please? Dedication upright. Guidance upright. Okay. So you are seeking dedication. You're being you're trying to be very dedicated, it looks like, to your partner. Now whether you're married to him or in a serious relationship, I'm not sure. Um, but I heard not, you know, not the daddy basically. Um, that's not exactly what I heard, but basically that's what I heard. Um 
So you're trying, it looks like you're trying to do the right thing, but you have serious secrets, and the secret is the baby's not theirs, but they don't know it. But you're trying to remain dedicated to them, and hoping, I'm assuming, hoping they don't find out. Ooh, well, the baby's dad's probably going to tell them, Libra. I mean, I had to say it, but, I mean, come on now. Unless, I mean, if they want a kid, it really all depends on everybody's situation. But you better hope to pray that the baby's dad don't tell them. And then guidance upright. Yeah, so you're seeking guidance. You're trying to seek what to do because you got yourself in such a freaking hot water mess, you don't know what to do. Well, maybe you shouldn't have got yourself in this mess to begin with. I mean, you ever thought about that? Life's pretty simple if you don't make it complicated. And that's just the truth. All right, well, we're all done. Um, PayPal to um, 2 for 20, PayPal email, personal readings. Um, all you got to do, um, 48 hour turnaround for that, but Facebook message me first or um, email me because I don't want to do that. That's a big ticket item reading, and I don't want to do that without us talking about it first, okay? So email me or Facebook message me first, um, and then that's it. All right, you guys, we're all done. Namaste. I'll be getting June's out very, very soon. Namaste.